Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's no boy I'd rather be. Welcome back to part 15 of my Let's Play of... Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. In the last part, we journeyed through... But we journeyed from... Stoneside, where we met the we went to the historic site where we saw a mural, a mural that Beedy was trying to destroy with his copper jewel that he borrowed from the um, from uh, the chairman of the Gala Regional Pokemon League, um, and then it turns out there was a statue behind the mural that that showed off there was two wolf Pokemon, one holding a sword, one holding a shield, and there was two and there was in fact two heroes, not just one hero. Then we journeyed northward to through the Glimwood Tangle and arrived here in Balan Balanlia Balanlia Balanlia, a town with gigantic luminescent mushrooms, um, loads of fairy Pokemon flying around, and psychic Pokemon and squid Pokemon and loads of different types of Pokemon, just roaming around, and we're going to explore this place. It's for this. There's a lull. Uh, can't remember what it's called. Low something. I can't remember what it's called. There's a there's a Inkey flying around up there. There's a Chinchow up on that mushroom, and it shouldn't be able to. It's a water psychic. It's a water electric type. Why is it not in water? There's Hatrem on top of the Pokemon Center. Welcome to the town of Balonia. A charming town where the people make their homes among the trunks of the towering trees. Frank, that's my granddad's name. Fuga, Fuga, Gaga! I have a Pokemon, have a battle with me! Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Scizopede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Scizopede and I are different too. If you think about it that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lo lofty logic. I, I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Well, good luck with that. Hey, I've got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I could make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon. Don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? No. Welcome, Pokemon Trainer. Opal's Gym Stadium is a small theatre. Opal has been a gym leader for a long, long time. You're looking for Frank? That'd be me, yes. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me. You handed the old letter to the old man. Now, who could be sending me letters? Oh! Why, this says it's from Paula. That does make that does take me back ages. Paula was the name of a girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill, didn't tell me though. She kept it a secret just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I moved away not long after that fight. I never met her again after the day I left. How was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula. She was a kid. She wasn't old, she was a kid. She looks well. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I want to give you something for this gift you've brought. For you've brought me back a piece of my youth. A uh, choice scarf. Uh, this curious scarf boosts speed but only allows to use it to one move. <laughs> hey, don't interrupt our conversation. Who are you talking to? This place is weird. There's two big mushrooms growing right here. Oh, look at you. Defeated stone-sized gym leader, eh? You'd probably know your way around a TM like this one in it in that case. TM42 Revenge. Hmm. Evolution is 
bit tricky for Pokemon trainers. If Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger, but its appearance will change. Do you know? Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without it evolving? Sure. Okay, I'll teach you. Uh, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Pokemon Breeder Elena and her Dotler. Let's go, Weezing. It is a bug and psychic type, so we'll do a brutal swing. Gonna use Reflect. We do Assurance. And now Light Screen. This does not bode well for us. Uh, let us switch to... You know what? Let's go, Colossal. We'll do a flame charge. Gonna keep using Psy Shock. Let's try Tar Shot actually. Colossal can take the hits, so that's all good. Reflect water off, so let's do another flame charge. And down goes Dotler. Not a hard fight. I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dotler's solid solidity. Solidity? Solidity. Even though my Dotler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is this Eviolite. A mysterious evolution lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both defense and special defense. Neat. I'm going to give this to... Maybe I could give it to Peepers. Shine! Chinchou, how would, how do you float? I need to, I need to one, I, I wonder, how do you float? And TM31 rest. Awesome. Chin chow. And a bomb mushroom. Just quickly here up at the Pokemon Center. Let's head towards. So that's it. There's a house over there. But all that's left to do is take on the gym. So let's take on the gym. And there's Marnie. Oh, challenge of Ronnie. Hmm, you've got four gym badges already. I'm going to have to watch out for you, huh? <laughs> Look, even more Pico is wary of you. Wait, more Pico, don't tell me you actually like Ronnie. Ugh, we've already had a serious battle with him. He's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of my league cards, okay? that look huh this just means i'll think of you as my rival from now on okay there aren't too many gym challenges left you know so we're meeting in the finals you got that sure money i got that bull guy thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate the bull guy is love in the air or is it just this pokeball here try out and see for yourself a love ball opposite gender of your pokemon Neat. Quizzes. Opal's a harsh teacher, but you've got to give it to give it your best. 
I've been hearing more and more people talk about you, Changeroni. Thank you. You're very. That should be. That, awesome. He looks kind of strong. What is this about pink? Does it mean the fairy type? Have you talked. Have you caught any Yamask in Gala? If you have, would you be interested in trading for Yamask Eichel abroad? Nope. Not yet. Let's take on the fairy type gym. Gym Changer. Would you like to change our gym? Of course. Then please change into your uniform. This will not be a mission so much as a test of your quality. It's a very serious examination. No one told me this would be a test. That uniform looks good on you. Now relax, clear your mind and go break a leg. Ah, oh, there you are, my dear Jim Challenger. Though you are really lucky in the colour pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering though, child. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh no. Oh, but if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. I need to work on my impressions, my lady voices. Now let the gym mission begin. Battle with all your skill. Let's go. All right, okay, it's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. Gym trainer Annette. And we'll do a sludge bomb. That it goes in one hit. And a slurp off. Question. Do you know about fairy types' weaknesses? It's both of these. Poison type, that's right. One of the fairy types' weaknesses is the poison type. Attack and special attack rose. Awesome. Sludge bomb, go. Fake tears, not great. Special defense, harshly fell. But slip up goes down in one hit. Be a gym trainer on it. If you stand your ground with everything you've got, it doesn't matter what's wrong or right or wrong. I see. I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. I'm second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Gym Trainer Teresa. And her Swirlix. Pre evolution of Sw uh, Slurper, which we've just fought. Super weak to our poison type poising. Aromatisse. Uh, evolution of Spritzy. Question. What was the previous trainer's name? Uh, Annette. Sludge Bomb. Ooh, survive. Now Dragon Kiss. Okay. This should be yeah, neutral. Not very effective. We'll do another slash bomb. A 
And a critical hit as well. Nice. Right on Weezing. Defeated Gym Trainer and uh, Teresa. To be cautious and wary, that's the trick to survival. Don't worry about right or wrong, just keep moving forward. I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become this fairy type gym, le gym leader. I'm not even using any fairy type Pokemon. <laughs> Besides Weezing, who's part gym fairy. Uh, Theodora sent out Morgrim. So, this guy is fairy and dark. Because we have him on our team. So, hopefully, Sludge Bomb should take it out in one hit. It's going to use Fake Out, though, which makes us flinch. Question. What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Uh, Omelettes? I prefer cheese omelettes. That was a guess and a half. Sludge Bomb, let's go. Ah, special attack for Rose, but we're now confused. That's not great. Come on, Weezing. Yes, well done. And Weezing going to level 37. Now Gardevoir, you are Fairy and Psychic, so we're going to switch to Copper Jaw, just to be on the safe side. Copper Jaw, let's do a Heavy Slam. Use Reflect, so it may survive this attack. God of War is pretty powerful. But <laughs> one hit KO from Copper Jaw. Nice. Copper Jaw goes to level 41, and Peepers goes to level 40. I want to learn Nasty Plot, which raises its uh, special attack. Um, a special attack is pretty high anyway. Yeah, I never use Fake Out really that much anyway. You defeated Gym Trainer for Fe Theodora. I play Strong Trainer. I'm a method actor, so I become a trainer in real life too. Yeah, sure you do. We should be focusing on the gym challenge, but Miss Opal insisted on making this an audition. Congratulations, you successfully completed the gym mission. Now, I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like to immediately challenge the gym leader challenger, Ronnie? No. I need to heal up my team. Let's take on the gym leader. Let's do it. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your Pokemon, partner Pokemon behave. You're challenged by Gym Leader Opal. You start off by sending out her Galarian Weezing. It's Weezing versus Weezing. Both Poison and Fairy types. I wonder if... Ah, okay. We're going to switch. Uh, to... Copper Jaw.
for you, Sludge. But doesn't affect Copper Joe because we're pure Steel type. Question: You, do you know my nickname? The Magic User. What? This is too bad. Speed harshly fell. That's okay. Heavy Slam. Fairy Wind. But it's not gonna be very effective. And down goes Weezing. Toxtricity goes level 42. Next is more wild. Steel and fairy type. Um... Actually, we're going to keep out Copper Jaw. At least I'm pretty sure it's still in fairy type. Intimidate's going to lower our attack, but that's okay. And we're still slower. So we'll bulldoze. Whilst it uses iron defense. Keep doozing, uh, keep doozing, keep dozing with bulldoze. Question. Where's my favourite colour? Pink. That's why I like to see in other people, but it's not- What? Bulldoze. Hang in there, Copper Jewel. She likes seeing pink, but it's not her favourite colour. Okay, more wild goes goes down. Col uh, Colossal Grit level 39. Togekiss. Fairy and flying type. Uh, we'll switch back to Weezing. Let us. Hmm. We should probably just do a sludge bomb and see what happens. Air slash. That does a lot of damage. Sludge bomb. Ah, but he poisoned her. Okay, an air slash would maybe knock us out. But maybe we're faster? Oh no! Wheezing! Oh, wheezing! Just switch to toxicity. Okay. Let us Max Revive Weezing. And just a question. What have you done? How old am I? Should we flatter her? 88? Could have been more sensitive. I was going to say we should have platter. Okay, uh, we do better shock. Weezing goes to level 38, and Corvonite goes to level 43. Weezing wants to learn Toxic. Uh, no, you're okay, buddy. And Corvonite goes to level 43. Next is our creamy. So let's switch to wheezing. And finish this in style. My morning tea is finally kicking in and not a moment too late, uh, not a moment too soon. Our creamy.
Let's fight Dynamax, and we'll go for Max Ooze. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this. Whoa! Gigantamax Al Creamy. That's one tall wedding cake. That's okay. Meet my giant wheezing. Look at those smokestacks bellow. You lack pink. Here, let's just give you some. G Max Finale. Hang in there, Weezing. It's not very effective. Maxus. It's super effective. And special attack Rose. Let's keep going, man of Maxus. G Max Finale again, but it's fairy type, I guess, so it's not going to do that much damage. In the long run, we should be able to take her out. But she healed from it. What? Maxus, come on, Weezing. One more hit should do it. G Max Finale, one more time. Weezing can take it. She's going to heal up a little bit, but our special attack has raised twice now, so we should be able to take her out in this next attack. Maxus! Finish this! Down goes El Creamy. Well done, Weezing. You did amazing. You defeated Gym Leader Opal. Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still, not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of preference. I'll find the next Gym Leaders elsewhere. In fact, I've already got, got an idea about where to look. Too bad about the audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 45. Take this TM with you too, a little bonus from this old lady. TM87, Draining Kiss. It restores HP of half damage taken by the target. Lastly, here's a little something for humouring me. This might help add a little more pink to you. A fairy uniform, nice. Of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. And that was the fairy gym. You received a TM from Leader Opal, yes? The next gym awaits you in... Surchester. Nice. Congratulations, you can now purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemon Mart, please. I can now buy old troubles. Yes, okay. Here to sell. Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Can you care to join me for the journey? Oh, we need to go to Hammerlock to go to Sir Chester, so... If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Uh, sure. With pleasure, madam. They say there's... They say two's company, after all. Hammerlock. Oh, it's such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Let's heal up in town. 
Oh, that's BD. Hmm. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my gym... My challenge ban taken away and my gym challenge of status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Of course. Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about cashing up with me, after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Hmm, that boy. Now that's what I call... <laughs> now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Time for my gym mission, child! Huh? What? Pink! Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child! Miss Opal? What, in the, what has got into you? You were used by Olina, am I right? You worked hard to get wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish once she was done with you. Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well, I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you will see the, my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Surchester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. Actually, I don't. Can someone point me in the right way? Okay, just bye. Leave me alone then. But, uh, fine. I guess it's this way. Oh, it's Sonia. Hey, uh, the badge collecting going well. I've been doing some research on the ruins on Stoneside, the Stolen Shield. What kind of Pokemon were they, and where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in... Kaboom! Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? You mean, like, where you can Dynamax? That's right, the power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Hey, Sonia and Ronnie too. You felt that shaking, right? Seems Sherman Rose is testing something again. This is bad. Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the Chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in, the, compete in the finals. She should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Surchester and get the gym badge. But I can help to... Okay, bye then. Oh, Ronnie! Hey, uh, hey, it's Hop. Hey, Hop. First that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word. But it looks like I've finally caught up to you again. Come with me to Route 7. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. Let's head to Route 7. There was a giant explosion though. Maybe we should probably go worry about that. Okay, guess not. Here we are on Route 7. And I think we're going to end this part right here. So in this part, we finally explored the tiny little woodland town of Balunglia, where we took on, uh, we explored the town, took on and took on the fairy type gym leader, Opal. We went back to Hammerlock with her and we ran into Op uh, ran into BD, who was trying, you know, he's been feeling a bit downtrodden since he got rejected by Chairman Rose, but it looks like Opal's gonna maybe make him into gym leader for her next, for her next gym. So that's kind of cool, you know. When one door closes, another door opens. Um, and now we're heading towards Route 7, but before that we met up with Sonya and Leon, and there was a giant explosion somewhere in the power plant in Hammerlock, which could cause Pokemon to Dynamax. What 
going to be running rampant and crazy. But we were just told to go get our next badge. So, whatever. Don't need us. Uh, there we met Hop, and he wants us to challenge us to a competition. So that's what we're going to do next in the next part. But for now, I have been the Ron and Only, and there's no body I'd rather be. And you've been watching part 15 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. See you next time, trainers.